hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video we are going to explore another custom rom for our redmi note 6 pro so today we have project elixir rom based on android 14 and today we're going to explore this rom also i'm going to talk about pros and cons of the rom so let's find out so the rom is booted up as you can see here let's unlock the rom and check what's going on with the rom so let's go to setting and about phone so as you can see it's the version of this rom is 4.1 and android version 14 so if i go here you can see this rom is officially supported for redmi note 6 pro android 14 and security patch level is from february 5th 2024 so this one is the latest build for redmi note 6 pro going with other things so it's pretty much based on uh, osp but the the ui is a little bit different than android 14 based rom as you can see i i really like this kind of of uh, ui so it looks good and also if you go to essence you will get a lot of things you can play with and you can change the way you want your device going with other things network and internet those things are working perfectly fine no issue bluetooth also working perfectly fine as you can see my sim card is there and seems to be working fine no issue Going with the wallpaper and style, although this ROM is based on Android 14, but there is no AI wallpaper option. So if I go to more wallpaper, so you are, you are getting few pre-built wallpaper, but there is no AI wallpaper option. So that's missing from here. Going with the battery section, there is no feature like for adjusting the ampere or if you want to charge your uh, device to 80% or 90% so you cannot do that so there is no option like that uh, I don't really remember like previous build included this feature or not but in this build there is no option like that so there is something weird going on with the battery so the first time when I booted up the ROM after installation the battery was like degrading very fast and the device was getting very hot but after a reboot it solved the issue now the battery is working perfectly fine and the battery is, seems to be good but i'm seeing that the battery is like draining itself so, so this rom is not really good for battery backup going with the storage as you can see 50 gb of a bible i haven't installed any application yet maybe two or three just to check and notification is there sound and vibration and this there as you can see here everything is there now apps so i will talk about apps later on so password and account and other things so these are few things going on and if you go to system and gesture setting so we have double tap uh, although this device does come with ambient display support or iod support but it doesn't work going to the navigation mode there is no option to reduce the keyboard height or anything like that so those are not available so you can just remove the gesture indicator so if i turn it off it's gone that's it there is nothing else going with the other things like in the security section so if i go to security and privacy so we do have like fingerprint and face unlock option and both of them working perfectly fine i haven't faced any kind of issue with fingerprint and face unlock so if i hold my device here right now so it is a little bit slow but it does work perfectly fine no issue so if i hold and it is working and so do the fingerprint so fingerprint is also working perfectly fine and it's pretty fast actually it recognized fast so no issue with fingerprint and face unlock the issue i'm having with this device right now is if i go to display section as you can see here double tap to awake is on but now if i Turn off the screen as you can see double tap to uh, work is not working but um strangely if you reboot the device first time the double tap to uh, work will work but after that it will not work so that is a strange issue i'm having with this rom rather than that there is nothing much to say about the setting everything is there and everything is, seems to be working fine going back so now going to the application part so as you can see here this device did come with all the g apps as you can see google google one home and other things but it didn't come with any kind of camera application 
so what i did i did install a gcam directly from the play store but it didn't work so i installed the gcam i usually use on my redmi note 6 pro so i installed that one and it is working perfectly fine on this rom and also um if you don't want the gcam you can install this camera app called secure camera you can find that and it does work perfectly fine and it's a pretty good camera application so camera application are there rather than that you are getting music and few other google application rather than that there is nothing much so let's check the safety net so as you can see safety net is passed so you can use bank application but not really recommended rather than that there is nothing much going on everything seems to be working fine so the issue i'm having right now is with the double tap to work and maybe you will see the battery drain issue on this rom so the rom link will be in the description below if you really want to try out this rom you can try out but my recommendation will be evolution x and it's still a better rom than this because you are getting miui camera too and also that one is pretty much buckless rom so if anyone wants to try this rom you can try but my recommendation will be evolution x so that's all about project elixir rom for redmi note 6 pro thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time